file in this Friday, November 24, 2017 file photo Zimbabwe's President Emerson Namagwa Center and his wife Auxilia Wright leave after the presidential inauguration ceremony in the capital Harare, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe's new President is taking steps to differentiate himself from his ousted mentor, Robert Mugabe, as he tries to win over the country before next year's elections. Ben Curtis, file Associated Press Harare, Zimbabwe. In an open space that Zimbabwe's ruling party has called Robert Mugabe Square, delegates gathered Friday to seal the fate of a man they had revered for decades but removed from power. In dramatic scenes last month, Emerson Namagwa has already been inaugurated as the new president and party leader, replacing Mugabe, who had led the party since 1975 and the country since independence. From white minority rule in 1980, Friday's ZANUPF party meeting is the final step in Mugabe's fall from grace after the military put him under house arrest, hundreds of thousands rallied in the streets and lawmakers began impeachment proceedings. Under the growing pressure, the 93-year-old who had vowed to rule for life finally resigned. The decision to remove Mugabe as party leader was made by the Central Committee and, it is a foregone conclusion delegates will ratify, party spokesman Simon Kayumoyo said. Images of Mugabe's face, usually plastered on delegates' dress and other paraphernalia, were conspicuously missing, as was Mugabe himself. He flew to Malaysia and Singapore earlier this week to visit family and seek medical treatment in his first overseas trip since last month's events. Namagwa, at his inauguration described Mugabe as a father of comrade in arms and my leader, even though his firing by Mugabe as vice president early last month set the events in motion amid concerns that unpopular First Lady Grace Mugabe might succeed him. Mugabe's time was up the moment he surrendered power to his wife, some party delegates said. The ruling party also was expected to endorse the 75-year-old Nangagwa as party leader and its presidential candidate for next year's elections, Moyo said. Now Nangagwa must find a way out of his long-time mentor's shadow, revive the severely weakened economy and win over voters ahead of elections. He told Friday's gathering that the vote will be held as scheduled, without mentioning a date. The elections should be held in July or August, according to the Constitution. The opposition, shut out of Nangagwa's cabinet in favor of military and ruling party members, has joined the United States and others in the international community in urging Zimbabwe's new government to make sure the elections are democratic. Nangagwa, sanctioned by the U.S. years ago for his activities as a top Mugabe aide, has said the government will do all in its power to make sure the elections are credible, free and fair. On Thursday, he called for long-time sanctions to be lifted to ease foreign investment and promised measures to make the once prosperous southern African nation a place where capital feels safe. Copyright 2017, The Associated Press. All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, rewritten or redistributed.